I'm David, and this tutorial is building a static distribution of Qt. I am using Qt 6.5.2 and Visual Studios 2022. I want to first show you my environment here, uh, just to give you kind of a baseline of what I have. Uh, so first of all, uh, this code builds and it runs, and I'll show you why we, I want to do this. So. If I take you to the directory for my project here, open folder in File Explorer, go to the executable, and if I try to run this, we get some errors here that the DLL was not found. And changing to multi-threaded is not going to fix this, okay? We have to build uh, this release of Qt ourselves. Uh, but first, Let's first go to extensions, Qt VS Tools, Qt versions. Okay, so this is what I have right now is the um, 6.5.2 MSVC 2019. And then if I look at the path here, uh, I have this installed in my C drive. So C drive and then Qt. And then I've got um, <clears throat> these three in 6.5.2. Um, so if you don't have this, uh, download the installer. If you do have this, then you can use the maintenance tool. Um, whoops, we need to get out of here. So the maintenance tool is going to be in that cute directory. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Go ahead and, sign in. and the installer looks exactly the same. Uh, we're going to do add or remove components. Okay, so now let's go to this Qt dropdown. The first thing is in Developer and Designer Tools. You want to make sure you have CMake installed and you have Ninja installed. Uh, and the path needs to be set up so that CMake is accessible. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, and if you don't know how to do that, you know, there's easy tutorials online on how to add things to the path. Okay, so I already have that. And now under 6.5.2 you need to get sources, okay? Now, one caveat before we get started with this is you need to have a significant amount of disk space free. So I have 174 gigabytes free in my C drive. Uh, that should be enough. Um, I would recommend at least 100 gigs uh, because this is gonna get pretty bloated, okay? So let's tick sources, we'll go next, and we will hit update. And this is gonna go ahead and download that. And, uh, I'm not going to make you sit through that, but go ahead and download this and I'll be back with you when it's done. All right, so the download has completed. Uh, once it does complete, you'll see SRC populate here uh, within 6.5.2. Okay, so from here, we need to locate our vcvarsall.bat file, and this can be in two locations that I'm aware of. Uh, there may be more, but for me, uh, I'm going to go to my C drive, program files, Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 community, VC, auxiliary, build, and there it is, VC vars all. Uh, the other place could be the same path, but instead program files 86. We're going to go ahead and right click on this and do copy as path. Okay. So you have that in your clipboard. Uh, let's go back to the Qt directory. 6.5.2 source. Okay. So within here, we need to create a new file. So new. We'll do text document. Let's open this up. All right. So now you need to type call just like that caps paste in that path and then put a space and from here you need to specify your architecture okay and now this is very important to get right because if you don't you will have a mismatch and you'll have to rebuild everything okay so for me it's x64 but you need to put in what you need here okay and so on the next line we're going to do set underscore root equals and now from here we're gonna grab this path right here where we have source. Okay. 
So it's going to look just like that. Now we're going to do set path equals percent sign underscore root percent sign and semicolon percent sign path percent sign. All right. And now under this, we'll do set underscore root equals. And let's go ahead and save as. And we're going to name this qtvars.cmd. Let's just make sure that saved. And there we go. So we'll close down this and we can go ahead and delete that text document. Great. So now from here, we need to go back to our Visual Studio and we need to get to the developer command prompt. And a quick way to do this is just to hit view and then terminal. And then you should be able to choose your um, developer command prompt from there. All right, so now we need to type the following command, okay? It's gonna be percent capital S system, capital R root, percent sign, so system root, backslash system32, backslash cmd.exe, now forward slash capital E colon on, on is caps, forward slash V colon on, forward slash K, lowercase k. All right, and now we can go back, and we can copy this as path, and we should be able to paste that in, and we do need to take out the quotes. All right, so let's run this. And you should see environment initialized for, and then your architecture. Okay, so now from here, we need to configure our build. So let's go ahead and change directories back to the source. And to do this, we're gonna use a command called configure. Uh, it's a batch script. So let's run configure and I'll do dash dash help. And this is just to show you the overwhelming amount of options that you have here. Uh, you should probably look through these and make sure there's nothing specific to your build that you need. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I'm using. And if you're just creating a simple cute app, this should get you by. So let's do configure dash debug and release. Um, I'm using an open source license, so I'll do dash open source. Oops, sorry. If you're using commercial, um, you'll need to do dash commercial. And there's another uh, command that you'll have to do for that. So look through the help menu. Now I'm going to do dash static. And then we need to do dash static runtime dash platform. And the platform is win32 dash msvc. In order to save about 80 gigs of space, we'll do dash no make examples and no make tests. And uh, this is the end of the flags that we use. And now we'll set our prefix. And the prefix is going to, um, this, this is how you choose where you're going to build to. So we'll do, do the C drive, cute, and I'll call it static 6.5.2. So I'm going to run this and this is going to take some time. So I'll be right back with you when it's done. All right. Now from here, um, we can see this took 156.5 seconds to configure. Um, but nothing is going to take as long as this next step. So this note here, Qt is now configured for building. Just run. Uh, this is accurate. We do want to run this. And then after we will run Ninja install found that this message does not always print here uh, even if it's working so if it doesn't print and you don't see any errors that stopped it uh, you should be good to go uh, these warnings here are irrelevant so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we'll paste that whoops let's try that again paste that in and we will run. Now, this is going to take an extremely long time and your disk space usage is going to uh, grow. So I will be back with you when this is done. 
Okay, so we are finished with that. And now we need to do the ninja install. But let's take a look at that disk space, shall we? Not looking too hot. So that 100 gigabyte recommendation will not be enough. But you want to go ahead and take a look because unfortunately the ninja install is going to take up even more disk space uh, but once that completes we'll be able to free up quite a bit and and still use it so uh let's go ahead and run ninja install and we'll send that away and this is going to take some time as well so i will be back with you Okay, the ninja install is complete. It is the next day. The ninja install doesn't take all that long, but I'm finally coming around to this. So let's take a look at our file explorer. And we'll once again go to the C drive, Qt. You see here, we now have a directory called static 6.5.2. And conveniently, you can see the size is eight gigabytes. Um, if we go back to our source directory, we can see how much of this has grown. Certainly over 100 gigabytes, uh, and you are safe to remove this from your PC once we test to make sure everything is working as expected. As you see, over 100 gigabytes here. So, how do we actually use this new build we have now? Well, let's go to Extensions, Qt VS Tools. Qt versions, and we're able to add a new version. So let's do that, choose our path, and you see this brought me where I need to be, but you need to go to that new static folder, <coughs> bin, and then uh, this QMake application is what you want. So we'll click that, and it should look something like this. Just hit OK, and then we'll go to Project, Properties, and then we can go to our Qt project settings and change this to the new Qt static. And then from here, we need to make sure we go to code generation and multi-threaded DLL will not work. So we need to change to multi-threaded. And this is a result of uh, that static runtime command line argument we passed into configure. So even if you make it static, if you don't have static runtime, you'll have to use multi-threaded DLL. But since we did the runtime, we'll choose multi-threaded. Let's hit apply and okay. And from here, we should be able to build our code. So let's do that. That's a good sign. And now let's go to our project folder. find that exe. I'll just delete these here. And you see the size of the, the executable has increased, but this application now runs without those errors. And this application will work um, on a compatible machine. So this is how you do it.